Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, uh, happy new year. Um, it is the year 2015. Uh, yeah, it's a new year, everybody. That For me, 2014 it just kind of flew by. It was a very entertaining year. Sorry, there was a thing on my screen. So, anyways, it is a new year. I hope everybody um, is going to have a better new year. Uh, have a better 2015 than 2014 was. I said in the last video, hopefully you have a better 2014 than 2015. Unless it was great 2015 or 2014. So, but, it's, it, it sucks that I am going to have this conversation in a video. Um, as something hit home very hard this week. Um, yesterday, matter of fact. And it sucks that this is a big issue. Oh, by the way, I'm not driving today, so I'm being safe. I just wanted to throw that out. Um, anyways, I've mentioned this in a video before. Um, I didn't really, I didn't really talk much on it. I just kind of briefed on it, but I'm going to get into this conversation. It's a big one. Today's conversation is about suicide, depression, um, suicidal thoughts, uh, cutting, um, bodily harm in any way. I do not care how hard something may seem at this time. Nothing. Nothing. N-O-T-H-I-N-G. Nothing. Is worth killing yourself over. Nothing. I say this because I've been there. I've been suicidal. I suffer from clinical depression. And I've managed to cope. I've learned coping techniques. Yes, every once in a while they don't work and I have to I have to rebuild and figure out how to cope with something. But again, nothing is worth suicide. Suicide is a temporary Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Temporary problem. It's something that over time is going to get better and is going to go away. If you're suicidal, you're depressed and everything else right now, I'm, in your mind you are thinking, you're, you're lying, you know, it's not going to get better, this is the end. It's not. It really isn't. I just, I'm still going through a very hard divorce myself. Um, so I've been very depressed lately. You know, but I'm, I'm obviously, I'm going through my normal routine. You know, well, it's not normal, but it, it's normal now. Um, I'm working, you know, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to keep myself busy so I'm not, you know, sitting around thinking about everything. You have to find something to get distracted in. Whether it's coloring, it's drawing, it's writing. You know, if it's playing video games, play some video games. You've got to do something to keep your mind off of it. Don't do drugs. That again is a temporary fix. It's drugs are not the solution. Um, if you're wanting to cut yourself, 
find some outlet besides that. There's no point in bodily harm. Because all it's going to do is take the pain away for a little while. Yeah, I mean, you know, it may feel great. It may feel great to take that knife, that blade, it, whatever, and just be focused on that pain for a little while. But guess what? The other pain is going to come back. The pain that's causing you to be depressed. Drugs. If you do drugs, yeah, okay, you may feel good for a little bit. Alcohol is the same way. I'm talking drugs, alcohol, the whole nine yards. It's going to be, it, it, you're, you're going to get distracted for a little while. But guess what? It's going to come back. Because you're going to get, you are going to be unhigh at some point. At some point, you are going to have to think about it. You've got to find some way to cope with it. Talk to someone. Talking to someone is key. I don't care if you don't like talking to anyone, you don't want anybody knowing your, your business, what's going on with you or anything else. You've got to talk to someone. You have got to write something down. You have got to get that stuff out you have to express it. And if you are suicidal at this current point and you want to kill yourself and end everything, you need help. You need someone's help. Someone needs to be with you. You need to go to, you know, some place. Go see a doctor. Go get help. That's it. That's all it takes. Is to go get help. Get somebody you are comfortable to talk to. To help you with everything. I don't enjoy talking to people. I don't like talking to people. I don't like other people knowing my business. I have a notebook. I write everything down. And guess what? Afterwards, I feel better. I really do. I really do feel better. Because I'm, I'm able to express at that point exactly what all is going on. I know people that they draw. They may not be the best, but they do it. And... and Basically, what I'm trying to say, if you are suicidal and depressed, go get help. Go talk to someone. Find some type of outlet. Not drugs and alcohol. That leads to problem, more problems than you need. So, I I could go on for hours. I could I mean, just ranting and raving about this stuff. But I'm not going to. Uh, this is at the end of this video. You guys, again, a suicide is a temper is a permanent fix to a temporary problem. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. So, to end this, again, get find some money, find a notebook, find something, draw, write, talk. I apologize for this depressing video, <laughs> but, you know, I feel like it's something, I feel like suicide, a talk about suicide and depression is a taboo topic. I feel like it doesn't get talked about. That sucks. That's depressing. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous in all reality. It needs to be talked about more because it's a big problem. Um, Evansville, Indiana, for example, uh, it is the number three, it has the number three highest suicide rate in the United States. Seattle is number one. Evansville, my hometown is number three. 
Find help. Talk to someone. Hit me up on Facebook. If you're going through anything, I don't care if I don't know you or not. I'm here. I'm someone you can talk to. There is nothing that you can say that I've not heard, done, seen. Nothing. I have talked. I... I should. I don't even need to give a number. I've talked to a couple people down from suicide. I have had two really, really good friends of mine commit suicide. I have been hit personally from the impact from someone else. I've been hit personally on me. I've been there. I was locked up for two weeks because I needed help. I didn't want to go get help. I was forced to go get help. And it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Okay, I'm not going to say the greatest, but it's helped me. Now, on a different note, I'm going to turn my camera. You see this right here? You see that right there? They will be Super Bowl champs this year. That's right. That's right. Broncos better bring their A game. Colts are on. It's playoff season, ladies and gentlemen. Get your footballs ready. Get your TVs ready. Super Bowl will be here in a couple weeks. I'm super bummed. So, for all you Broncos and Peyton Manning fans out there, I apologize for the butt whooping that hopefully is about to happen. Hopefully, the Colts bring their A game as well. And the Colts are playing at 110%. I fully see the Colts winning this one. I really do. Hopefully, T.Y. Hilton can catch, you know, catch some footballs in this game. He had a... Had a rough game last week. So, later you guys. Um, again, if anything is going on, hit me up on Facebook. Love you guys.